But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman, but all things of God. Verse number 13, we're going to start getting more clarity on the covering. <coughs> Judge in yourselves, is it comely that a woman pray unto God uncovered? Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. Her hair is given her for a covering. We just read about your head being covered, your head being uncovered. He's talking about your hair. And, and <laughs> it boggles my mind. I mean, I, I, that's just how blind people are that are not saved. Amen. That you have groups of people that actually think that, no, 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 this is talking about a head. I mean, you know, women have to be wearing bonnets when they, when they come in the church, and, you know, otherwise they're, they're dishonoring, and, and, you know, men can't wear any hats. That's not what this is talking about at all. It just said her hair is given her for a covering. That's, that's what she has. And if she have long hair, it's a glory. Amen. That's a good thing. But if men have long hair, it's a shame. Even nature tells you that. Even little children. Look, I knew this as a child growing up when you can see a guy that you don't know is a guy walking down the street and you think it's a woman. You say, excuse me, ma'am. And then they turn around and they got a beard. And you're like, whoa. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, that's a shame. It's a shame to be referenced, you know, as something you're not. There's nothing wrong with women, but if you're a guy, there's something wrong with someone calling you a woman, right? And vice versa. You know, it's shameful for a woman to be, to be mistaken for a man. Just as much as it's shameful for a man to be mistaken as a woman. 